but anyway, so th- this was coming out, and this was also coming amid the fact that Xbox, more so than Sony, have been really pushing this idea of Xbox Game Pass, mm. which is like a Netflix-style subscription where you can pay a certain amount and get as many games as you like. Mm. And you can download them, at least all the ones that are available on Game Pass. And this is the, the stated reason why they were buying up all these studios. The idea was you subscribe to Xbox Game Pass in much the same way as you subscribe to Netflix and get all these Netflix-exclusive mm. shows. You subscribe to Xbox Game Pass and you get Starfield, this new highly anticipated Bethesda game. You mm. get Halo. You get Call of Duty. Yeah. You get all these titles. You don't have to worry about paying 120 bucks. Mm. You just get them all. Yeah. The... I think, and we talked about this a bit in our Christmas episode, the economics of that are very tough. Yes. Especially when you've paid $80 billion for one of those studios. Yes. And based on the, the most recent numbers, there are about 30 to 40 million subscribers mm. to Xbox Game Pass. Even just like running the numbers in your head, just yeah. to cover that acquisition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're already kind of thinking. Yeah, but I, I also think that this is one of the things that people got wrong about that People immediately were like, they're going to make all of those games exclusive. That would be a a little crazy because all of a sudden you're just cutting your revenue. Like you're cutting the valuation of the thing you just bought for $80 billion. That $80 billion valuation, which was actually a bit underpriced because they happened to be, their their price was depressed at the time due to like. Because basically like a series of sexual harassment scandals had like depreciated the vice of Activision Blizzard. Yeah. Yes. And Microsoft jumped in and and that's probably one of the reasons. But like, like even that $80 billion price tag was based on all of the sales that they're making on freaking PlayStation and whatnot. And, you know, it, that's based on all of their revenue. Like, you arrive at an $80 billion number. Yeah. If you're just like... There's no oh, more PlayStation players. Yeah, yeah. we're going to cut out 75% of the revenue or whatever. Then all of a sudden, that thing that you've just bought for $80 billion is now worth $20 billion. You know what I mean? Like, you've just cut the valuation of this yeah. thing. So I don't think that there were ever... And they said that, you know, they made commitments in court, you know, Call of Duty will be available cross-platform for 20 years or whatever it was. Like, they made all of these commitments. But I think I don't think that was ever going to be their strategy was to, like, make these things exclusive because it just would have, I mean, you would have really been shooting themselves in the foot. Yeah. I will finish the explanation of what actually happened yeah. in the end. After all this rumor-mongering that they weren't going to be exclusives anymore, mm. they did, like, a Xbox podcast, which had... Phil Spencer, who's the, as I said, the CEO of Microsoft Gaming, which includes Xbox and PC stuff, sitting down with a bunch of other Xbox bigwigs. And they were like, we've heard you. Mm. Calm down. Stop threatening to send... Stop pulling a butter knife on the person next to you at a wedding. (laughs) Do not mail any more IEDs to (laughs) Xbox HQ in Seattle. Please don't. And they basically were like, there are four Xbox games, and we're not going to tell you what they are, but there are four small titles that we're going to bring to PlayStation. Mm. And there's been some reporting of what they are, and they're basically like double A or, or indie titles as well. Some smaller ones. Not Halo, not Starfield, not these big blockbuster mm. franchises. But they, the subtext was that it seems like they're, they're trialing this. They're aware they have mm. an intense fan base. Yeah. Because, so again, part of the rumor was yeah, all of these titles are going to be across all platforms, and in fact, they're going to get out of the console business altogether. Yeah, like they're yeah. not going to make any more Xboxes. Yeah. They, they're throwing in the towel. 